नंदनी आज हम कुछ ऐसा पढ़ने वाले हैं जो कि फिजिक्स और बायो का एक बेहतरीन कॉम्बिनेशन है और वो है हमारी ह्यूमन आई बट वाई एम सेंग इट्स अ गुड कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ फिजिक्स एंड बायो क्योंकि बच्चों आई जो है वो स्पेशल टिश्यूज से मिलकर बनी हुई है जिसमें एक बायोकॉन्वेक्स लेंस भी है एंड दिस बायोकॉन्वेक्स लेंस कैन चेंज इट्स शेप एंड साइज विच अलाउिंग एन आई टू फोकस क्लियरली ऑन द ऑब्जेक्ट एट वेरिंग डिस्टेंसेस बट होल्ड ऑन हाउ इट कैन चेंज इट्स शेप एंड साइज फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस लेट्स गो थ्रू द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एन ह्यूमन आई This is how our eye looks. Let's see its side view. Structure देख के हमें समझ में आता है कि it is spherical in shape. Its diameter is approximately 2.5 cm in adults. The fact here is that only one sixth part of your eye is visible. Let's see all the parts one by one. This outermost covering of an eye is known as sclera. It is opaque and white in color. It also act as a protective layer for a eye, जो हमारी eye को dust particle से बचाते हैं. This bulge transparent layer on sclera is known as cornea. The reflected light from an object travels from air enters the cornea first. The interesting fact here is that. The shark cornea is used in human eye surgery as it is the most similar to the human cornea. Now, this ring-like structure behind the cornea which is made up of muscular tissues is known as iris. The interesting fact here is that your iris, the color part of your eye has 256 unique characteristics whereas your fingerprint has just 40. The color of iris indicates the color of the eye which formed by the amount of melanin present in it. The interesting fact here is that the world's most common eye color is brown. This black part in the center of the iris is called pupil. It appears black in color because no light reflects from it. Actually, pupil acts like a window, which allow light to pass. Let's understand the function of iris and pupil with an example here. If suddenly I am walking out of the room and there is a harsh sunlight outside, what will iris do? The iris is stretched and covers most of the part of the pupil so that less amount of light will enter through it. But what if I am in a movie theater where there is dark and I have to search my seat? The iris compresses due to which the area of pupil increases and more light can pass through it and I can see my seat number. This is what iris does. And the interesting fact here is the night vision of tiger is 6 times better than that of humans. After cornea light passes from a transparent fluid which is present in between cornea and lens jise hum aqueous humor kehte hain the function of aqueous humor is to balance the pressure of fluid inside the eye this liquid is also responsible to keep our eyes healthy as it contains nutrients this soft jelly like structure which is transparent and flexible is bioconvex lens which is also known as converging lens the function is to refract the light and focus it on retina when light from any object reaches the lens it adjusts its focal length according to the distance by adjusting its thickness with the help of ciliary muscles now these muscles are called ciliary muscles ciliary muscles hold the eye lens in its positions these muscles helps to change the thickness of eye lens so that you can see the objects clearly this area in between lens and retina 
is known as vitreous chamber it contains a liquid which is known as vitreous humor this liquid is 99% water which is transparent so that light can pass easily through it now let's see an interesting part the bending of light which is also known as refraction of light the light passes from different parts via different mediums firstly from air to cornea cornea to aqueous humor from aqueous humor to lens and lastly from lens to vitreous humor they all have different refractive indexes as shown here we can see the refractive index of air and cornea has huge difference whereas other three have almost similar values hence the maximum refraction takes place from cornea now at the very end this region where the image is formed is known as retina we often call it as screen retina contains large number of sensors which are light sensitive cells known as rods and cones rods are sensitive to the intensity of light whereas cones are sensitive to the colors now comes to this part these are called optical nerves actually the function of optical nerves is to send the signal of images to the brain which are processed by sensors on retina interesting fact about optic nerve is that it contains more than 1 million nerve cells can you see a little spot here the reason where the optical nerve is connected to the retina but why we are calling it as a blind spot because it has no light sensitive cells so the image falls in this particular region cannot be seen so we have seen how these parts of human eye actually works but wait a second you must be thinking why the image formed on retina is inverted as we have seen the lens in the human eye is convex lens and we know that the convex lens often form a real and inverted image that's why the image formed on retina is always inverted but if the image is inverted why can't we see the world upside down hame to sab kuch ulta dikhna chahiye par aisa ho to nahi raha it is because we do not see by our eyes yes you heard it right we do not see by our eyes but we see through our brain our brain intelligently processes the image and shows us the correct one the interesting fact here is that about half of the human brain is dedicated to capture and process the visual information so i hope you learn something about human eye learn more from animated videos with motion education like and subscribe thank you